Hey everybody, we're going to go over solving two-step inequalities. Remember, this is different than equations because an equation has an equal sign. Very good. And inequality has an inequality symbol. So we are going to solve two-step inequalities. All right, so we're going to use a system that you already know. We can use this on two-step equations or two-step inequalities. It's the same process. What we're going to do is we're actually going to do something that you've learned before, PEMDAS. The only exception is that we are actually going to do PEMDAS backwards. So the first question you are going to ask yourself is we want the variable on a side and we want our letters on the side. See how on the left side we have our variable with some numbers over here? We want just the X on this side. Okay, so to do that, let's go ahead and identify our variable. And we want to start by asking our question, our first question. Is there anything added or subtracted to the variable? Say it again. Is there anything added or subtracted to the variable? Last time, is there anything added or subtracted to the variable? Well, is there? Yeah, I see adding 6, so to move that I have to do the opposite. The opposite of adding 6 is subtracting 6. And remember, we have to keep it balanced, so whatever we do on one side, we must do to the other. So positive 6 and negative 6 will cancel. On the left side, that's going to leave us 3x is greater than, and we need to go ahead and subtract these. And so I have 18. Okay, let's ask our question again. Is there anything added or subtracted to the variable? Find your variable. Is there anything added or subtracted to that? Nope. Okay, we're done with that step. Now the next question we're going to ask ourselves, is there anything multiplied or divided by the variable? Say it again. Is there anything multiplied or divided by the variable? Touch your variable. What do you see going on right there? Since they're side by side, that means that they are multiplying. But to move it, we have to do the inverse. The inverse is the opposite. So the opposite of multiplying by 3 is dividing by 3. We have to do it on both sides to keep it balanced. 3 divided by 3 cancels, leaving us x is greater than. That fraction bar line tells us to divide. So 18 divided by 3, if we need to say it this way, numerator in, denominator out. 3 will go into 18 six times. So our answer is x is greater than 6, and we could graph that on a number line if we needed to. Good job. 